as of today, business owners are required to refuse service to anyone who enters their business without wearing a mask. Are business owners complying? And what happens if they don't? King 5's Drew Mickelson found out and joins us live tonight. Drew. Joyce, we're live tonight in Lewis County, where you may remember just last month, the sheriff suggested that anyone who follows the governor's mask order was a sheep. Well, business owners here that we spoke with say that they have no problem getting in line and enforcing this order. We did find one, though, who said it's going to be tricky, and he was only willing to go so far. Some got creative, others inspirational, or just plain practical. But if you're shopping in Centralia, you're likely going to need a mask, like it or not. You need to wear this mask. It's in the air, people. I think it's all a bunch of BS, you know. Governor Jay Inslee wants business owners to refuse service to those who don't wear masks unless they have a medical reason. We have in the past when we've tried to enforce it and done other stuff, uh, had some customers pretty irate and off and on, you know. The owner of Fuller's Shopping Cart in Centralia says the mask order has put business owners in a tough spot. Garrett Russo's employees are now handing out masks to customers who walk in without one. But he says due to medical privacy concerns, he is not turning away customers who refuse to wear a mask. Hopefully, you you know, if you have medical conditions or whatever, you know, we don't know that. We can't help if you have respiratory issues or whatever it is. We do tell you at the same time we offer curbside so you can go out and call us or text us and we can bring your order out to you or whatever we can do. But you're not kicking them out, which is what the governor wants. No, not right now. He knows he could be fined, but Russo says he wants to respect the privacy of his customers. We're trying to navigate a an uncharted area and trying to do our best with keeping our customers, employees happy and safe and, and work for everybody. If God decides he wants me dead, he's going to put, you know, he, he's going to put me six feet under no, no matter whether I'm wearing a mask or not. Customer Megan Finnerson says while she hates it, she is willing to mask up while grocery shopping. I wear it when I have to just because, you know, I have respect for others. The owner of this army surplus store says he was closed for three months because of the shutdown and he's not going to do anything to risk losing his business license or face any fines. If you go to a business and you feel like it's not being enforced, the mask mandate, text the word report to 206-448-4545. We will send you a link and you'll find out how to actually file a complaint with the state and the state says it will investigate. Live in Centralia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.